if this is the highest priority as your next career step? And that is the main question. Because also often when I'm asking this, then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's the highest priority. And then I'm asking, so how much time would you be able to invest into this? And then it's like, oh yeah, maybe two to three hours a week. I mean, how does, how does that work together, right? When is a good time for me to apply at an MBB in order to make that career switch? So we are having that discussion a lot, a lot, a lot of times a month, right? And the core of these discussions is usually about, um, yeah, I'm not so sure if now is the right time because of the macroeconomic conditions, right? I'm not so sure if now is the right time uh, because I'm just getting promoted at my work. So I'm not so sure if now is the right time because I need to um, finish my university, need to focus on this, right? At the same time, these people reaching out in order to seek for professional support and guidance on the way. And let me summarize here what for at least 90% of people is the case. And the answer is, it is the right time to apply, to go all in, if this is the highest priority in your career at the moment, right? So that's the only question you would need to answer with a yes, and then it's always the best time to start directly now, right? Because even for, if, if for reasons that are out of your sphere of influence, you would not be able to convert an MBB directly, right? You would need, for example, to work for a tier two consulting firm uh, for, for a year or so, right? Or you would need to improve your profile and, and things like this. Usually, for the majority of people, it is a very good idea to start directly because the earlier you start, the earlier you will gain the relevant experiences that will help you to either systematically shape your CV to maximize your chances or to position yourself in the best possible way to maximize the chances for getting invited and getting tangible experiences in the interviews and interview days already, right? So there are a couple of circumstances where you would need to reconsider this, right? So number one is you will need to have time to focus on this, right? If you are two weeks from, from graduation and there are the last like exams you would need to take, yeah, maybe waiting for two more weeks might be fine, but waiting for, I don't know, three more years in order to do an MBA before you're going to apply, that's just not very smart. Same for people um, that are older than 30 years, for example, right? So age is not a relevant evaluation criteria. So you cannot imagine how often people are asking us, so I'm already X years old, does it even make sense for me to apply at a consultancy? And the answer here is yes, it does, for sure. If you have done something relevant, meaningful, excellent, if you are a high achiever in what you have done so far, then it totally does make sense to also try to apply for an MBB if this is the highest priority as your next career step. And that is the main question, right? Because also often when I'm asking this, um, then it's like, yeah, yeah, it's the highest priority. And then I'm asking, so how much time would you be able to invest into this? And then it's like, oh yeah, maybe two to three hours a week. I mean, how does, how does that work together, right? On the one hand, um, you would say, yes, that's the highest priority here and it's so important for me and I really want to make it happen. On the other hand, you are not willing to deprioritize other things that are currently um, important for you. And that is not working at the same time, right? So either you do it with a priority or you shouldn't do it at all. So if you are really clear that this is your next career step, Make sure you push hard, make sure to get the best possible support and make sure you do it straight away.